Hey everybody, welcome back. New project we're gonna be working on today. Uh, DC House sent me this 2000 watt inverter charger. It's a 48 to 120 volt inverter charger. And they sent me this to see if I could use it for something, use it on some sort of a project. And I got a great idea. DC House initially had sent me this uh, 48 volt battery for golf carts. We're gonna use this 48 volt battery in conjunction with this inverter charger. We checked the neutral ground bond on this. This is a floating neutral, so the neutral and ground are not bonded. So that works great if you are using it in like a home backup system, which we're gonna be using. You can see here on the back, it does have a 120 volt outlet on the back. That's your on off switch. And you do have indicator lights here that'll tell you if it's charging, not charging, if there's a fault, if it's fully charged and those indicator lights will tell you all the information you need. We have the AC output and the connectors inside with the ground lug right here, line neutral, and you have the AC input, line neutral, with a ground lug. Real easy connectors, real easy to install. This is gonna come with your input cable, your 120 volt input cable, and it's also gonna come with your battery cables. It's gonna work perfect with this. This works with lithium iron phosphate batteries. It has over voltage protection, under voltage protection. So if your batteries drop below 45 volts, it will shut down. Once it recharges back up to 52 volts, it will turn back on and the inverter will start operating normally. It's a pure sine wave inverter, so it's safe to use on inductive loads like motors and sensitive electronic equipment. It is a 2000 watt inverter, but it does have a 4000 watt surge capacity on it. It's 60 Hertz, so it is suitable for US market. So this is our setup that we have right here, our bi-directional inverter charger from DC House. We have the DC House 48 volt, uh, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's all plugged in to our manual transfer switch. This is for hurricane outages. Whenever the power goes out, we have our refrigerator, we have our li living room, we have our internet server, and we have a couple of other kind of light circuits. So this shouldn't exceed 2000 watts. Always remember with a backup inverter charger like this, if you're using it in the home, you never wanna connect your input and your output on the same circuit. You always want to make sure you have a transfer switch that breaks the neutral, the hot, at least the neutral and hot, complete disconnect from the grid. That way you don't have any back feed issues and you don't have any ground loop issues with the inverter. If you were to plug this in to the same supply line that you're feeding with the output, you can create a ground loop. So make sure you have the proper transfer switches on that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna plug this in, right? And we're gonna show you the pass-through mode on this, the uninterruptible power service on this, and show you how that works. So right now, we are in charge mode, but we're also reading 120 volts, 119.4 volts in and out. So it is a direct pass through. Now when we disconnect mains power, we're gonna go into inverter mode. It's immediate changeover. So we have no power going in, but we still have 120 volts coming out. A system like this, you never want that neutral uh, ground loop internally inside the inverter charger it will cause a catastrophic failure inside the inverter. So just read up on that, study that, make sure you're safe. All right, we're gonna switch a couple of these circuits over. That way we're running off of the battery. Let's pick another circuit here. So with these two circuits, we have the refrigerator and we have the master bedroom circuit turned on. We have a ceiling fan going in the master bedroom. We have the lights on in the master bedroom. The refrigerator's on, but the compressor is not running. But you can see here, we're drawing 1.78 amps out of this battery. We're not even, we're not even pulling close to 500 watts, 2000 watt capacity. You can always use it when the power goes down. So that's how we're utilizing the DC house, 2000 watt bi-directional inverter for 48 volt systems. We're super happy with it. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.